I give you that. It'll look. So, to me, the Clippers culture is whatever Kawhi wants it to be Basically. right now. Basically. Yeah. Basically. And he wanted Serge Ibaka to be part of that culture because he loves Serge, and Serge loves Kawhi, and it's going to be very different. But they kept their one enforcer. Marcus Morris is still right in the middle of this, and he is a very valuable piece, and he got his money to stay. So I love that. And to Chris's point, it was a clash of old guard versus new guard. But new guard is way bet more talented than old guard. Absolutely. So Lou Williams has seen his best days in this league. And I love him. And I used to really love him. But he has become, in their eyes, expendable because he, he didn't want to be in the bubble. And he played like it last year. Because <laughs> in, the, in the playoff run, he shot 24% from three. And he was driving me out of my mind because he looked lifeless. He looked like he was not buying into whatever the new Clippers were selling. He had, okay? he had a lemon pepper sauce. He had lemon fingers. pepper sauce. And we know about the Magic City incident. And I think that was the beginning of the end of Lou yeah, as a yeah, Clipper. Yeah, you can't do that. Okay? So, no Trez. Again, rejected to the Lakers. Oh, there you he go. was a reject. That He's is, a cast Skip, off. Skip, just say that Trez is no it's longer okay. there. He is no longer there because they didn't say want that. him there. <laughs> yeah. And... So here we go. Lou Williams is on the market. I don't know what they can do. I don't know what, what you can get. As Chris said, th these are all very difficult moves. But What about Pat Bell? Pat what? Bell was the third best guy on the team. And you, why, why are you trying to get rid of the third best guy and a point guard? You got a point guard. Impact, don't Pat Bell play point guard? Yeah, he's a defensive point guard. He's not an offensive uh, point guard. Well, if he right? stopped training in Tim's on the beach, he wouldn't be in danger so much. And also to Chris's point, I love Terry Rozier. He's got that dog in him. But you're right, Shannon. He is more two than one. <laughs> now, when Kyrie was out and they went on their run two years ago in the playoffs, or is it now th it's three, almost years. three years ago, Terry Rozier was pretty good as a point guard. He averaged six assists through those games, and they right. got obviously all the way to game seven of the Eastern Conference Finals against LeBron and company. <laughs> and that was the end of that deal. Right. Well, but they got to seven because yeah. so it was pretty impressive. And he was the driving force and the heartbeat of that team. And what did he do? He parlayed that into a payday. He did. He got a big payday. And he was pretty good last year. Mm -hmm. But uh, so was Devontae but, Graham. Yeah. He emerged. And he can play the point. And uh, I hate to tell him this, but Lamelo on usage rate, he might lead the league in usage rate next year as a rookie. Yep, he just might. So somebody is is odd man out, right. expendable, and I will not be shocked if the Clippers figure a way to to pry Terry Rozier loose. I know Chris saying it's not happening. I just think that's their target, and when Steve Ballmer wants something, he usually pulls. Well, you got 